10 companies garnered 12,470 crore rupees through their respective IPOs in April to September of the current fiscal, much lower than a record 26,720 crore rupees raised by 19 firms in the year ago period. I stock New Delhi, Indian companies raised 12,470 crore rupees through initial public offerings in April to September this fiscal, a plunge of 53% from the year ago period, mainly due to volatile equity markets and uncertainties in macro environment. Some analysts believe that the IPO market for the second half of the ongoing financial year will be poor as the secondary market would continue to be choppy on account of high crude price, depreciating rupee and tariff war between U.S. and China. However, others are of the view that concerns related to IPO market may be overrated as the underlying consumption demand continues to remain buoyant. According to the latest data compiled from stock exchanges, 10 companies garnered 12,470 crore rupees through their respective IPOs in April to September of the current fiscal, much lower than a record 26,720 crore rupees raised by 19 firms in the year ago period. In the first half of 2016-17, 15 companies had raked in 16,535 crore rupees through the route. Proceeds of the initial public offer IPO, were used to fund business expansion plans, pay debt, meet working capital requirements and for other general corporate purposes. By taking the IPO route, companies achieved the benefits of listing as well as enhanced their brand name and provided liquidity to the existing shareholders. During the period under review, Dinesh Engineers withdrew its IPO on weak equity market sentiments, while state-owned garden reached shipbuilders. Manish Agarwal, director at Equiris Capital, attributed the slowdown in equity at issuance to a combination of multiple factors. Equity issuance requires stable or uptrending secondary markets, and the market direction as well as volatility has made it difficult for investors to price equity issuances. In addition, mid caps have seen significant price erosion, and thus IPOs filed with valuations based on markets existing six months back may find it difficult to convince investors on pricing and valuations. These coupled with uncertainties in macro environment, FPI outflow and hardening interest rates have impacted equity at issuance, he added. The IPO chart in the first half of the current fiscal was led by Varic Engineering, 1,950 crore rupees, followed by Indistar Capital Finance, 1,844 crore, AAVA's Financiers, 1,734 crore rupees, Credit Access Grameen, 1,131 crore rupees, and TCNS Clothing Co. Limited, 1,125 crore rupees. The April to September 2017 period had seen initial share sales of two large insurance companies, ACC Lombard, 5,700 crore rupees, and SBI Life Insurance, 8,400 crore rupees, which together accounted for 13,700 crore rupees. I look upon the insurance companies making an IPO as a one-off event, since the insurance sector as a whole was earlier, missing, from the markets. If you remove the IPOs of ACC Lombard and SBI Life Insurance since these were a one-time event from the IPOs of first half of 2017-18, then the resultant picture for the first half of the current fiscal is not very poor. Prabhudas Lilitar Vice President Investment Banking Dara J. Kalyanawala said. Kalyanawala believed that the IPO market for the second half of the ongoing financial year will be poor and uninspiring. With so many problems being faced by the economy like high crude price, rupee falling compared to the US dollar, growth of businesses at much lower pace, protectionist environment of European and US economies and tariff war between US and China, the secondary markets will remain excessively choppy, he added. I do see a window of opportunity for IPOs in post-Diwali period till about mid-January 2019. Otherwise I do not see the IPO markets to revive till the next general elections in May 2019, he noted. However, Agarwal believed that the concerns related by PO market may be overrated as the underlying consumption demand continues to remain buoyant and government is expected to take proactive steps in the run-up to various state and general elections to further bolster the same. As things improve we expect strong issuance activity later in second half of 2018-19, he added.